wouldn't it be cool if we could have statement completion or IntelliSense for JSON files? Well, let's take a look at a prototype here. Here I have a file called uh, .jshintrc. This is a specific file for controlling uh, the rules uh, that apply to JSHint, a JavaScript uh, code analysis runner. And um, let's uh, figure out how to write this file. Uh, this is problematic. We have to look in the documentation. But what if we have IntelliSense directly within the editor? And we can do that very easily right here. So not only can we see all the um, things you can do with JSHint, all the different property names, but you also get um, this nice uh, tooltip that tells you about the each individual um, property here. So we can do so quote mark here and we can see we also get uh, IntelliSense for uh, the values so that's really sweet um, here we set this to true and so this is a really really good experience that we can um, that makes it easy for us to understand uh, the structure of some of these um, more common JSON files instead of we have to look in in the documentation online all the time so that was just an example of how we can apply a schema to a JSON file and get IntelliSense from that. Now let's take a look at another um, another thing here, which is something uh, called JSON LD linked data, JSON linked data, and um, this is what Schema.org uses um, for uh, indexing your page uh, using your your websites using uh, a specific markup in JSON, and it looks like this. So we need to set a context, and the context here is schema.org. Then we need to set the type. So what type of thing do we want to um, do? We want to express here in our JSON file, and in this case, we want to set that to any of these values. So schema.org has a lot of different things that you can express um, through microdata in HTML5, uh, but also here in JSON. So we can do person, and you can see here now we get IntelliSense specific to person. And uh, so let's just do name, match here. Uh, person has an address, and an address is a complex type. And again, we can just go in here and say, hey, the type of this uh, property value here is postal address. And by doing that, we now get IntelliSense for uh, a postal address. So street address, you know, and whoop, and so on. We can continue here. So you can see that we get this very, very nice and granular um, IntelliSense. And of course, um, that was person, but you know, you could imagine an article if you have a blog post that contains articles and so on. We can mark that up uh, specifically here. And an article has an article body right here. That's where your uh, your content goes basically of your article. So just a little teaser of uh, what might be coming down the line in Visual Studio for JSON IntelliSense. Thank you.